Hi folks, Matt Easton here. So I'm here in Maryland, it's very hot, um, and we're uh, at Long Point event, which is just pretty much wrapping up now, and I'm here with Mike Elson uh, from New York, and um, we have been talking about cutting previously, because Mike's somewhat of a resident HEMA cutting expert and guru, um, but he has another string to his bow, and that is, he's also an author. Um, and being an author with an interest in HEMA, You've written a book, haven't you, called... The Talhofer Society. The Talhofer Society, which is available on Amazon mm -hmm. right Thank now. You. And do you want to tell us, roughly, without spoiling us, what's mm -hmm. the book about? Um, it, it's hard to describe because, uh, without spoiling, it's easy to describe if I spoil it. Um, <laughs> because if I describe the plot, it sounds like one of those cheesy blood sport movies. Uh-huh. Uh, where there's, there's a HEMA instructor, um, you know, and he's down on his luck, his life's kind of falling apart. Uh, is, which a is, lot of this isn't autobiographical, is it? No, 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 my life is fine. <laughs> yeah, no. um, his, his wife had died in, in a car accident oh, a couple okay. of years before, and he's very, you know, he's kind of just going through life, uh, going through the motions. Um, and uh, so a lot of us can identify with, uh, you know, the yeah. character whose life is falling apart. And so yeah. that, that's one of the reasons I, I put that in there. But um, so he, uh, he gets an invitation to a tournament. Right? But it's a strange kind of invitation because they send them a bunch of money with it, right? And they say, this is yours to keep whether you go or not. And I think it was $20,000. Right. Uh, and this is fairly up front in the book, so I'm not spoiling anything major. Yeah. Um, and the invitation is really cryptic, and he says it'll be gone for like a month, right? Uh -huh. And so he kind of realizes that, wait a minute, right? <laughs> this, this isn't like, this isn't one point, because one point doesn't pay you $20,000, right? I mean, you know, we'll pay for your, your, your trip and stuff if you're... Uh, like celebrity like you, um, but uh, we're not going to give you 20 grand, and certainly not if you don't go. If we pay for your ticket or something, and you don't go, we're going to go, right? So, um, so he figures out that something's wrong, right? Um, so, but he says, you know what? I don't care. I have $20,000, right? Screw this, right? So then he's contacted by uh, an international task force that kind of wants him to go anyway. <laughs> um, so at that point, it still sounds like one of these, you know, Jean Claude Van Damme or Mark Dacascos. Oh, you know, well, it's quite like Enter the, Enter the Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, once he gets to the tournament, um, he realizes it is nothing like he thought it would be, and uh, his initial assumptions are challenged, and he finds himself uh, asking some very important questions about his art right, and what that means to him. Um, and that's what a, a lot of the feedback that I've gotten. I actually did not write this book for the HEMA community, by the way. I wrote it as a general thriller, and yeah. that's how I tried to market it. But just it. with HEMA as the yeah. sport. Yeah. And, and it, it actually um, it, it got an agent, uh, which is very hard to do, as, as you may know. Um, it, it, it you know went through the whole process, uh, editing, and, and, and the agent was trying to sell it, and the publishers really liked it, but they didn't think that a book about HEMA would have enough, um, you know, and, and they're probably right. I mean, but again, um, I, I didn't write it for the community, but it fits the community very nicely. And uh, most of my reviews and purchases have been the community. And in those reviews, they said that um, it asked, they, reading the book, began to ask themselves those same questions too. Uh, and it challenged a lot of their own About views why they do HEMA. About, you know, why they what do HEMA, what it, what it means to them, what is HEMA, why do HEMA today? And, and that's the part that people really, really enjoyed. So this is, so uh, open confession, I actually have the, I have this book, I bought it from Amazon myself, and I haven't had time to read it. <laughs> and Mike keeps <laughs> saying, have you read the book yet? And I keep making lame excuses, but actually true, true, true excuses. I've had, unfortunately, as you know, I'm working on a book and I've had too many other things to, to finish and been too busy. But it's on my bookshelf. Or on the audiobooks coming out, you can listen. Well, yeah, the audiobooks coming out, and that's coming out through Amazon? Uh, uh, yeah, Audible. So aud oh, Audible, yeah. brilliant. So it sounds a really, really cool book, and actually, um, you've just told me more about it than I knew before, uh, and that's made me more eager to, to read well, it. it. It's, it it's really hard cool. to, what are you going to write in the back of the book? This is not what you think. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's not a blood sport thing. It's, you know, although there, there, is, there is fighting in it, yeah. and, uh, but it's, it's all within the context of the story. And I guess the things that you've said about you know, questioning what a martial art is to you and why you do it and these things, it's applicable to any martial arts. Yes, absolutely. Or even sport, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, less less so the sport, because specifically this is the, the it's martial It's about martial, yeah, okay, yeah. so it's, it's about identity, really, isn't right. it, I suppose? But it, it, how, it could yeah. be applicable to sport, because yeah. as we know, a lot of people take their sports extremely seriously. Yeah. So, so soccer hooligans. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? So you mean football? Yes, yes. <laughs> um, so there we go. The Talhofer Society available um, as in book form from Amazon right now, or very soon, or just early very August, soon. Yeah. yeah, early August uh, from Audible as an audio book. Uh, it sounds really cool, and it's had some great reviews. I've actually yeah. read read some of the reviews. Um, some from people I know, and some people I don't know, and they all. 
very good reviews. So there we go, a book you might want to check out whether you're a HEMA practitioner or just another martial arts practitioner or just generally interested in reading a good book. And uh, the more you buy it, the more you read it, and the more you spread it to your friends, uh, it also will help spread the popularity of HEMA because it is about yes. the HEMA community in a way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And lastly, you are working on other books, aren't you? Yeah, but not, not, not HEMA related books. Like okay, that. cool. Thrillers, stuff like that. But if you like, if you like the style of writing, mm -hmm. then there will be more from Mike. Great, thanks a lot, Mike. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, follow us on Facebook. You can buy t shirts through Spreadshirt, support us on Patreon, or follow us on Pinterest. Thank you.